Hi, I'm Dr. Jean and I'm going to be demonstrating how to make some blank books. I love to make blank books with children because they're so much more hands-on and engaging than just playing a video game. They're also good because you can use them across the curriculum in math, you can use them to reinforce language arts standards, science, social studies, almost any content area. And they're open-ended and creative. No matter what level a child is at, they have a challenge with a blank book. Now the first blank book is one called the Snip Snap Book. Take two sheets of paper and fold them in half. Make little tears about a thumbnail apart all the way down that creased edge. And then when you get through, you fold forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. So we're using those small motor skills and we're also doing a pattern. And when you get through, you have a snip snap book. Now, you could use this for a phonics activity, let them make a letter book. You could use this for recalling de details from a story, um, character setting, problem solution, or they could recall the events of the story first, next, then last. You could also use this for math, let them make a set book or a shape book or a pattern book. You could use this in science to record observations or go on a nature walk. Um, almost anything that you're doing in class, let them make a blank book. And the great thing about blank books is after they make it, they take it home and then they have something to talk to their parents about what they did at school and what they learned. Now with the younger children, I would start with one sheet of paper and then build up to two. A uh, good idea when you make these books with children is to do it with a small group, like your guided reading group or three or four or five children at a time. It's much easier to guide them through it. Another good idea is to let them watch you make it the whole way through. The brain remembers as a whole, so demonstrate how to make it, and then you can go back and do it with the children. So this is a flip book. First we make a hot dog and then we make a hamburger, and then we make a can, a, a juice box, and then if you open it up all the way and take your scissors and cut down on all these crease lines till you get to the middle, and then fold it in half again, and you have a flip book, or the children like to call it a garage door book. Now you can use this for drawing pictures of things that rhyme. You could write a vocabulary word and the definition. You could write a number and things that equal that number. You could do opposites. If you turn it this way, you could do the seed, the root, the stem, the flower, the parts of a plant. You can do four seasons. You can do just so many different things with this little flip book. Now, the third book I'm gonna show you how to make today is called a brochure. And you can fold a sheet of paper into thirds, but that's kind of hard for children to do, so I just tell them to make a burrito and smush it. And if you make a burrito and smush it, you will have a brochure. Now, you could use this, um, you could write the title of a book and the author and illustrator and the beginning and the middle and the end. You could use this for writing CVC words. You could use this for tendreds, <laughs> for hundreds, tens, and ones. You could use this book for oh, inflicted endings, walks, walked, walking or comparisons, big, bigger, biggest. Or if you turn it this way, you can put animals in the air, animals on the land, animals underground. You could also do the same thing with transportation or fruits and vegetables, how plants grow. Um, you can write letters that start at the top dotted line here, letters that start at the middle dotted line here, letters that have a tail here, lots of different things with the brochure. Um, and one other fun thing to do with the brochure is to take your scissors and cut two little V's right next to each other at the top 
And when you do that, it will look like a W, and they can recall details in a story, who, what, where, when, why, what will happen next. Now, a uh, good thing to do with these books would be to take one each day and do it with the children every day for a week and use it for different activities, obviously. And then after they know how to make like four or five of these books, you can easily make an assignment um, and have them make a brochure or a flip book or a snip snap book to reinforce different skills you are working on. I'll have some more books for you tomorrow, so come see me again.